Welcome to another CTV Sports presentation. CTV Sports is brought to you by St. Clair Chevy Buick GMC. We care. By Murphy Inn Restaurant and Hotel in St. Clair. By North Star Bank, North Star Guiding the Way. By Neiman's Family Market. By St. Clair Home Goods and Ace Hardware. And by CTV, Community TV for Marine City and St. Clair. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of High School Basketball on CTV. Tom Brenner, Brad Robbins with you once again, and this is as big as it gets at this point in the season. The 9-4 and four overall Saints hosting the Port Huron Northern Huskies at 8-5 and five overall. But the most important thing is both, both teams six and two in the Mac gold as we get ready for what will be a winner takes at least a share of the Mac gold division and no doubt about it this is kind of a friendly uh, you know local rivalry too last time the Saints uh, went to northern northern handled them pretty well but the Saints have gotten better since then and um, I think we've seen a lot of parity in the league so looking forward to uh, a game with big implications here uh, in the St. Clair gym tonight all sports you like to see the games get bigger and bigger, and that's exactly what's happened so far for Mike Boulard Saints. It's a big one. Let's head down to Coach Denny White for the singing of our national anthem and the introduction of our starting lineups. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise and face the flag? Gentlemen, please remove your caps as we honor America this evening with the playing of our national anthem. We can be Jameson. 
For St. Clair, senior number 13, Ryan Zimmer. For the Huskies, junior number 33, Ryan McNeil. For the Saints, senior number 20, Brady Gleason. The Huskies are coached by Brian Jameson, assisted by Austin Schell and Matt Diskerad. The Saints are coached by Mike Bullard, assisted by Todd Green and Todd Collins. The stage is set. Biggest game we've shown so far on CTV coming up with tip off just after uh, the Huskies break their huddle, which they do. Good job by Coach White getting us ready for action as usual. A couple of teams six and two in the goal, just in case you're just now tuning in. Ryan Zimmer will take the tip against Ryan McNeil, a six seven, good sized junior for the Huskies. Yeah, first glance, the Huskies. Uh they can provide some size. Looking down there, uh, Dabrowski is 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and then the freshman, Tyler Jamison, son of the coach. Uh, really nice player. Had <laughs> the opportunity to watch him a lot last year as the uh, as a middle schooler. Uh, he can put him up quick and in a hurry. He's legit, uh, and he's 6'4". Donaldson with a drive, a lot of contact. Look, they call a foul on the floor. Speaking of their size, just one thing to kind of keep in mind if you're a if you're a viewer just tuning in, you're thinking to yourself, geez, who is that one guy who used to play for the Huskies? Well, he's over at Michigan. He was hurt, but he early enrolled and he's gonna play football at the University of Michigan. That's Braden McGregor who used to play for the Huskies. Yeah, and he was uh he was fun to watch as well. Dominant on the glass, not a not a finesse basketball player, but you know, the two-handed dunks, uh, you know, incredible athlete. And they're gonna miss him, but they've filled his shoes nicely and obviously uh right in contention for a league title. So They've moved forward well. Donaldson starting this game off aggressive. A couple of Husky team fouls to start this off in the first 22 seconds. First free throw up and good for Sean Donaldson. Comes into this one averaging just about 10 points a game. Five boards and an assist. Having a nice senior season for Mike Boulard. We talked about that. We've kind of seen him in, in uh, limited action, and he's had spurts where it's been really good, but... Uh, Probably a little more steady than we've given him credit for on the broadcast, getting those double digits uh, every night, and he's going to have to play a huge role. You want to win championships, you need your seniors to step up and help you get there. Strong drive there by number 11, James DeLong, a senior. Draws the foul from Donaldson. Go to the line and shoot two. And right there, I think, is one of the reasons that we haven't always seen Sean get in a rhythm at home is because he is an aggressive player, and on defense, he's not afraid to use up those fouls, and sometimes that earns him a seat just a little earlier than we would like to see. So he's going to have to be cognizant of that as this uh, first quarter ticks on here. First free throw up and good there for DeLong. Not tied this one up at one. Biggest student section I believe we've seen all year, which is a huge sign, of course, with... Uh, at least a share of a championship on the line. A pit out in full force. It's a blackout, I believe. No matter what the theme, hopefully they bring the thunder tonight, right? That's right. They're going to have to get involved early and often. They can play a role. Schwager with the basketball over to Lenarski. Swings it to Donaldson. Fakes the handoff to Gleason. Drives the baseline. Cut off quickly there. Gleason fake. Feed to Zimmer. Kicks it out. Lenarski three on its way up long. Donaldson's there with the offensive rebound. Up in traffic. Referee's letting it play out. Looks like we're going to land on a foul here. We do. Interesting, all that action and all those pivots and uh, the amount of time that he allowed him to reach in, and that was what he ended up calling. That could have been called a little kinda, earlier there. I thought he was kind of giving him time to go for the <laughs> hell ball. Right. Gleason on a post-up fake. Good feed to Zimmer inside up and good. Nice share there by Brady Gleason. He's always willing to give the extra pass rather than shoot it, and we see that on full display there. Gleason leading the Saints in assists, averaging about three a game. Here's Carter Stoner, three up long. Good box by Lenarski, double box. Goes out of bounds. Nice job there uh, <laughs> by Lenarski. Probably smart because if he goes after that loose ball, uh, he might be kind of in a weird spot and get forced out of bounds naturally. So he went for the double box, as you called it there. <laughs> and... Uh, and kept Stoner from getting his own rebound. <laughs> Saints lead 3-2. Lenarski guarded by Stoner. Both guys hit the deck. Schwager in the corner. 
Back up top, Zimmer swings at the Donaldson, looking inside at Gleason. Good fight there by 20. That's Cass Dombrowski. I'll butcher that name about 75 times tonight. Good play defensively, though. Just about two minutes in. Donaldson getting after it. Saints come away with it. Schwager pushing. He's got Gleason. Good Behind pass. the back to Donaldson up off glass and good. Set that up the whole way. Austin Schwager saw him, looked him away, gave the nice feed, a nice finish. Stoner pull up three, up long. Lenarski there for the rebound. 5-2 St. Clair lead. That behind the back pass should have this crowd electrified. Donaldson with it. Gleason swings it. Schweiger looking for a cutter not there. Lenarski at the top. Thought about popping. Took an extra step and the Saints turn it over. No, they didn't get a foul there. They ended up calling Brady Gleason for an offensive foul, oh, an illegal screen. Uh, I saw the close fist of the official and I was surprised because I thought Jared Lenarski took extra steps. So a little bit of misfortune there for the Saints that a foul is going to be called there instead of just a, a violation. Great defense. Inside, good defense. Zimmer comes away with it. Saints with a three-point lead. So we talked about the fact that these two teams have played and Northern kind of handled the Saints earlier this year um, at their place. I think the biggest change in the Saints is how well they've defended and rebounded here down the stretch. And uh, it'll always help if you get Brady Gleason involved at the top of the key, hitting threes. Clutch Kid with an assist and now a three with plenty of arc on it. That thing touched the sky. He plays a role that is far beyond the scoring column in the box score cut by Stoner. Gleason averaging about four points a game. He has three already. Stoner three. That's his third attempt of the night. Missed all three of them. Back come the Saints. Schwager with the basketball up top. Zimmer swings it around Minarski. Gets it inside the baseline. Gleason battles. Swing. Coach Jamison wanting a travel call. Not there. Schwager with it still. About four and a half to play in the first quarter. Movement, Schweiger keeps the basketball, cross up, hesitation, drives baseline, kick, Gleason, can he do it twice in a row? No. A little bit of a tough catch there. School of thought on passes is the amount that it's off from the shooting pocket is the amount that it's off at the rim, and that was about right there. Another Husky turnover, back comes Donaldson, it's two on two. Dishes it into Lenarski, goes up, no good. Follow there, no good from Zimmer, bodies everywhere. Guys fighting, Lenarski hits the deck, so does 32, Tyler Jamison. Physical, energetic battle so far, four minutes in, eight to two, St. Clair lead. Right now, this game is being played in a mold that Coach Boulard would love it to be played. That St. Clair looks like the more physical team, um, and Northern looks a little frustrated by their physicality right now. The officials letting them play just a little bit. James DeLong, Stoner will try again. He's a heck of a shooter. He could, he'll keep on shooting, and that time he knocks it down. Yeah, he's he looks confident. He looks like no matter what, as long as he's got his feet set and squared, he's going to let it rip. 8-5 now. Lenarski gets it over to Gleason. Schweiger on the wing. Take a Ryan Zimmer screen. He'll roll, give him the basketball. Gleason up top. He's shot two threes. This time he drives. Tried to get it to Donaldson. Goes off a Husky into the Saints. Husky number three. Matt Buslep will check into the ball game for Austin Schweiger. Buslep's proven to be a capable scorer coming off the bench. He provides some length as well. Gleason triggers, lobs it into Zimmer. He has it, takes a dribble, back to Gleason in the corner, back to Zimmer, refeed, up and good. Nice play there. Good touch. Ryan Zimmer involved early, which has been a little bit of an issue, although the Saints have been hot and winning games. Um, he's had some good second halves. Let's see if we can get him to thrive for four quarters. Zimmer, the Saints leading scorer on the season, averaging almost 13 points a game. Stoner gets it up top. DeLong with the basketball. Drives on Lenarski in the charge. Got him with the off arm. Lenarski takes it. Big momentum play. Ball back to the Saints. Fourth team foul there for the Huskies. Three minutes to play in the first quarter. St. Clair 10. Port here on Northern 5. Both teams 6-2 in the gold. That's all that matters tonight. Lenarski on the wing. Takes a Ryan Zimmer screen. He rolls to the bucket. Lenarski pull up jumper. No good. Pulled down there by Jamison. Jamison will bring the basketball up. He obviously looks like a pretty smooth, talented freshman. Spins to the bucket. Foul going to be called. Oh. 
It looks like maybe a little bit of confusion. Coach Jamison looking like he thought he saw a foul as well. It did look like one official was ready to call a foul. However, the official in the back called a violation and a travel prior to it. That's the call they're going to go with. And you got to start tallying up these little breaks that the Saints have gotten uh, early on here because they all matter and you got to make good on, uh, on your, your extra possessions here. Schwager back into the game. Lenarski and Ryan Zimmer go to the bench. Colin Zimmer enters as well for Mike Goulard. Gleason drives, couple screens. Moving screen, I think, against Colin Zimmer here. Checked right in and got a foul. That's the second one the Saints have been called um, for the illegal screen. Brady Gleason picked one up earlier, so officials have their eye on it. Saints need to make sure they're set that extra tick and make sure they stay clean up top, setting them up. Stoner guarded by Buslep, looking for the cutting Jamison. Not there. Gets it up to McNeil. McNeil over on the wing to Clink. Stoner in the corner. He really wants that three. They run that offense a lot. Looks like he's going to drive. Tries to spin. Nothing there. Great job by the Saints. Matt Buslip made his way through a lot of screens. They're going to run Stoner off all kinds of stuff. Tire your out. Rip Hamilton style. Stoner in the corner. Here's a three up. No good. Good box by Colin Zimmer. Gleason will be rewarded with the rebound. Almost the same idea there. Ran him off bottom uh, double screen. Stoner got a decent look. But Buslip offered a contest. Donaldson looking inside. Gleason had the seal. Donaldson drive, aggressive drive. McNeil went up for the block, but they're going to get him with a foul. Yeah, actually, that, that, that call, I can see how you're going to get some dispute from the coaching staff there because the top of it was very clean. Uh, but the bottom hand actually put a lot of contact on Donaldson there on the way up, uh, kind of that front forearm. And it wasn't the hand up top blocking the ball. It was everything underneath, and that's a good call there. Sean Donaldson continuing to be aggressive, get himself to the stripe. First free throw up and good for Sean Donaldson. He's got four. He and Ryan Zimmer tied for the scoring lead. Speaking of Ryan, checks back in on the game for Brady Gleason. Kind of one of the things that makes this extra fun, considering a league title shares on the line, is that these guys are just from up the road in Port Huron, so the away fans are uh, plenty. This makes for a pretty full gym. Yeah, it was nice, you know, coming in today, a little snow on the ground, and uh, had to park all the way down on the pit to get a spot. Swimming going on, lots happening here at St. Clair High School tonight. It's nice to see. 12-5 St. Clair lead, a minute and a half to play in the first quarter. James along with the basketball, guarded by Austin Schweiger. Husky spread out along the baseline in the basket. Jamison goes to the wing, or cut on through. Looks like lots of confusion here as the Huskies trying to run Stoner free. Drive goes up, not there. Bodies everywhere, tipped in by God knows who. <laughs> Credit the closest guy, could be Tyler going Jameson. Jameson. The Saints actually catch a break there. They threw the ball out of bounds, and Austin Schweiger tried to tip it in, which would have resulted in a three on zero break for the Huskies, but his foot was on the sideline and, and stops the play, allows the Saints to set their defense. Under a minute to play here, big minute for both teams. Jameson spins on Colin Zimmer, goes up. Can't quite finish. See if they call this one on the floor shooting. Going to get Zimmer, and they're going to put him at the line to shoot. It's kind of one of those where in the high school game, you, you could call it either way. He was kind of spinning when he was fouled, but easily can see why he's at the line shooting. First one up and good. As a matter of personal preference, I tend to err on the side of if it's part of his move to score, you let him shoot the two, so nothing wrong with that there. Something to keep an eye on, though, is We've seen that move twice, and, and last time we had some dispute as to whether or not it was a travel or a foul. Tyler Jamison is a very capable scorer, and he's got some length, um, and that could be a matchup issue. And so far, so good, but you're always kind of waiting. Schwager brings the basketball up for the Saints, takes the Ryan Zimmer screen. That's worked pretty well in the early going here. Boss slept up top. Back to Schwager. Saints may play for the last one with 30 seconds to go and a four-point lead. Not a bad move. Got some subs on the floor, getting some guys some rest. Bus slip on the wing. Saints run their action. Here, Colin Zimmer over. Lenarski looking for a cutter. Not there. Schwager will drive the lane. Float it. Not there. Tries to get his own miss. May get him with a foul. Tough break there. That looked like two guys who went up for a bye. I didn't see an exceptional amount of contact to draw a foul. At any rate, he gets one there, and that's about the opposite of what they wanted to see with his 
Uh, Austin Schweiger picking up his first, and they were trying to go for one shot, and the Huskies are going to get one. Lenarski will kind of bring up some pressures to make it more difficult and make the Huskies run some more clock. We're at six seconds to go. Five, make it four, three on the clock, two, one. Shot will be good if it goes, but it's not good, and that's how we end the first quarter. It's St. Clair 12, Port here on Northern 8, pretty good first quarter. Yeah, it was outstanding, and just something just little, like a nugget that was um, notable at the end there. Saints picked up full court with their best defender on a guy who came in off the bench to spell a guy, and that didn't allow them to set up anything clean for DeLong there, and he kind of forced it above. So nice defensive stop there, and then you're going to have to have plenty more here in the second quarter. Should be a great second quarter, and it's coming your way after these messages on CTV. The choice is yours at St. Clair Chevrolet Buick GMC. Choose better service. Choose more for your trade. Because we really do care in St. Clair. Choose a better car buying experience when you shop three brands under one roof at St. Clair Chevrolet Buick GMC, where you'll get all your rebates and the lowest price, plus free pickup and delivery to your home or office. We are St. Clair County's highest volume deal. Chevrolet Buick GMC. Just minutes from everywhere. Neiman's Family Markets, from produce, deli, bakery, meats, or even bagels. Neiman's Family Markets, they have it all on Kearney Drive in St. Clair. Neiman's Family Markets. Welcome back to High School Basketball, presented by CTV. Got a great game for you tonight here. After one quarter, St. Clair with a four-point lead. It's 12-8 over the Port Huron Northern Huskies. Eli Lord checked into the game for the Saints to start off the second quarter. He has the basketball on the wing. Going to get him with a travel. And the Huskies take over. Huskies on that first possession went quite a bit of pressure. Saints had some trouble getting the ball inbounds right away. And then ultimately, not a whole lot of ball movement and a turnover. So just what the doctor ordered for the Huskies. James DeLong gets it over on the wing. Jamison likes that spin, goes up with it. Can't quite finish, and Lenarski comes away with it. Good defense so far for the Saints. Anytime you hold a team into single digits in a quarter, you're doing a good job. It's been their calling card. Schwager to Ryan Zimmer, back to Schwager. Lenarski, Lohr on the wing. Pressured heavily. Got a freshman on a sophomore here. A, lot, a little bit of youth. Bust left, picked up his dribble, got it to Lenarski. Looking inside at Zimmer. Cross court pass to Lohr. Three on its way, no good. Back comes Porter here on Northern with it. Good skip pass, good confident shot. Got to take that one every time if you're Eli Lohr. DeLong with the basketball, followed by Schweiger. So in the last uh, minute and 15 seconds, Austin Schweiger picked up two fouls. And in the first half, that is considered foul trouble. And that's going to frustrate Coach Boulard a little bit because I'm not sure that Austin Schweiger created that uh, contact. And now he's got to sit down, and it's going to be monitored how he gets used here in the first half, if at all, in the next seven minutes. 59 seconds into the second quarter. Lenarski with a steal. He's all by himself. Goes up. Good job tracking him down there by number one, Austin Meister. Not only did he track him down, he knocked the ball away clean. St. Clair will keep the ball. Yeah, really nice hustle play. Something to remember, Austin Meister. Kind of contributed to the turnover, but also saved the day and allowed the Huskies to reset the defense here. Donaldson spins, goes to the rack, can't quite finish. Ball loose, ends up in the hands of Busla. Zimmer, jumper from the free throw line up. Not there, Donaldson still battling, can't get it. Jamison fighting for it, ball on the deck. Lenarski has it, goes up once again. Guys just chucking it. <laughs> and back comes Poirier on Northern. Yeah, that second one, maybe bring it out and get yourself a possession, but lots of hustle there. Saints earning extra possessions, being more physical. Carter Stoner with the basketball, gets it across to Jamison. Open look from three, here it is, up and good. Austin Meister. Austin Meister was three full steps off the three-point line. That's a 23-footer. Big bucket there, brings him within one. Huskies close that gap, make it 12-11 St. Clair. Brady Gleason. Up top, bus left, swings it around Lenarski, looks for the cutting Gleason, has him on Stoner. That's a physical mismatch. But the Huskies force a turnover, and back they come. I don't think Brady felt it there. I don't think he felt who was behind him. I think he could have gone right up. Instead, he spun back, and he allowed McNeil to kind of help it out. What a sneaky veteran move by Sean Donaldson to force the steal. He has the basketball and settles the Saints into their offense. Bus left, Gleason on the wing. Lenarski up top. 
Back to Boslep. Looking inside at Gleason. He has it once again. Back up top to Donaldson. Takes a Gleason screen, gets to the lane, floats it up and good. Really nice play. Like the way Sean Donaldson's playing right now. It's in control, but it's aggressive on the offensive end. Saints lead back up to three. Meister drives, loses the basketball. Ball flies out of bounds, so does he. And the Saints take over. And that's right there. That's out of control aggression on Meister's part. So as good a job as Donaldson did on the previous, Meister's going to have to hit the brakes just a little bit. I'm sure that's not how that possession was designed if you're Coach Jamison and the Huskies. Austin Schweiger with those two fouls back into the ball game. Important basketball game like this. He might take a chance or two. Got to trust him to be smart. He's a senior. If he wants to stay on the floor, he's got to do the right things. Gleason on the wing. He's guarded by Jamison. Looking inside at Zimmer. Good job by Zimmer to keep it going. Inside, Lenarski's battling. Stoner goes up. Can't quite finish. Saints keep it, though. Donaldson, three. Up and no good. Look at Lenarski battle. Went over the back of Stoner, and that's what they're going to get him for. Got to like Lenarski's hustle, though. He almost got himself a third possession there. But it is, you know, it's a factor, 4.49 to go in the second quarter, 14-11. You got a three-point lead, but every time you make contact with the opponent now, somebody's going to the line. Senior Brendan Hammond into the ball game for the Huskies. He subs in for Austin Meister, who had himself a nice stretch. Lenarski going to the bench. I did not see it flash up, but that may be his second as well. So Schweiger and Lenarski both in a little bit of foul trouble here early. Stoner's first one up and good. He's got four points. Second one on its way is up and good as well. See him running around Rip Hamilton style, like you said earlier. He's <laughs> one of the best cross country runners in our area. Makes sense to me. Track I did, as well. I did not know that, but he looks like it because he can move and he's probably difficult to defend for four quarters. Absolutely one of the best uh, distance runners in the Mac White, which is where uh, we competed this year. Schwager with a good drive up off glass and good. First points of the night for Austin Schwager, our big one. St. Clair 16, Port here on Northern 13. James along with the basketball. 5'11 senior, guarded by Brady Gleason, also a senior. Couple of veterans. The long crosses over on Gleason, goes up off glass and good. That's a little bit of a mismatch on the perimeter for Brady Gleason. He's just not going to be able to keep up with DeLong. DeLong, an accomplished football player just like Gleason, and uh, took him to the rack that time with no help. Lore over to Donaldson, takes the Ryan Zimmer screen, drives the lane, off glass and good. <laughs> right now, both teams just doing a nice job of knowing where the matchup is. And uh, Donaldson's taking advantage, and it looks like Gleason's made a switch here with Donaldson on DeLong. And that defense pays off. Turnover, and back comes Schwager and the Saints. Crosses over to his left-hand corner. Gleason, three. Good rotation. Up, good. Sometimes you can just see it coming out of the hand. And that one, you could tell right away. I think Gleason knew it, too. He kind of turned around and looked at the fans after he released it. Not quite Swaggy P style, but it was pretty good. <laughs> St. Clair with a 21-15 lead. 327 is what's on the clock. Brady Gleason signing on the dotted line to play some football <laughs> at Madonna yesterday. And he's carrying that good juju into a nice basketball game so far for the Saints. Yeah, had a big assist earlier that uh, set up a Ryan Zimmer hook shot with some soft touch over the really big Ryan McNeil at 6'7". And then he's had a couple of big high arcing threes. Uh, notably that one that forces Jamison into his first use timeout. Uh, of the night. That's a big momentum play, right? You come down and uh, after the dribble drive that DeLong had right on Gleason, Eli Lohr comes up with a steal. They share it to Brady in the corner and he knocks it down. We've done a bunch of uh, a handful of boys basketball games here on CTV and for me personally, I, it feels like the Saints really have it going when it starts on the defensive end. Yeah, they've completely, they're just their, their arc of improvement on the defensive end is what's put them in a position to play league championship basketball. They've made a concerted effort, they communicate well, and the older kids, the seniors who know how to do it, have brought along some of that depth and taught some of the younger guys how. And uh, you know, that's how you wanna arc. You know that from endurance training, and it's no different if you're coaching basketball. You wanna peak at the end. You wanna be really good when tournament time comes around, and 
The Saints are playing championship level defense, and that's why they're in this spot. Huskies trying to find that rhythm on offense. Stoner from way back and good. Even if it goes, you got to give that one up. He was way out there. He'll, he'll dial it up anytime, and he's got the green light to do it. And he's got a stroke that, that you can tell it's fine. He, the coach is going to be okay with him letting it rep. Donaldson with the basketball over to Gleason. Zimmer battling inside. Gleason looking in there, gets it to him. Stoner causing some chaos and forces a steal. Huskies bring it across the timeline. That's James DeLong. He's guarded by Donaldson. Crosses over to that left hand once again. Right into the hands of Zimmer, who blocks it away. Lohr loses the basketball, but it's off of Huskies and to the Saints. Another great job. Zimmer staying vertical. Good defense. Austin Schweiger bringing the basketball across. He does so. Brings it in quickly. Goes off the glass. Not there. Zimmer battling. Goes out of bounds. How official looking for a little help. Looks like the Saints will keep the basketball. If anything, Austin Schweiger pleaded his case early. That's why he didn't go after the basketball. So whether it actually went off of a Husky or not, it was a good sell. Saints will retain possession. Award-winning performance there from Austin. Gets the ball to Donaldson. Can he stay hot? Three up, no good. Huskies bring it down. Good rebound by Ryan McNeil. Well-designed inbound play. Got the shot they wanted out of it. Two minutes to play here in the second quarter. St. Clair 21, Huskies 20. Nice pass there to McNeil. Just went over the outstretched fingertips of Ryan Zimmer, and they got the finish. Ryan McNeil with his first points of the night. One-point ball game. Zimmer from three in the corner. Shot up and good. He's capable, and that might be a way for him to get some extra looks. You take McNeil out on the perimeter. You don't have to shoot over him as much. It's a long going in, and Eli Lohr reaching in for the jump ball. Possession arrow does favor the Huskies. I'll tell you what, a lot of credit to the, the help side defenders on a, a, a few possessions in a row now because James DeLong athletically is causing a problem. He is getting into the paint putting the Saints in help side, and they've stayed vertical and forced misses, and another good, solid play there, Eli Lohr with Eli a big Lohr. board. Big rebound, stayed aggressive, got the elbows out, protect the basketball, and draws a foul. Brendan Heyman picks up his first of the night. Next one, put the Saints in the bonus, so everything's pretty squared up right now. Minute 15, four-point lead. And this is the first time we've seen a little extended 1-2-2 look by the Huskies. Donaldson with a no look. Got it to Gleason. Schwager will pull up from the free throw line. Long brought down by Jamison. One minute to go in a huge stretch here. The winner takes at least a share of the Matt Gold. The long drives, no good. Eli Lohr with a big stretch. Another huge rebound. Donaldson pestered there by DeLong, who may be a little frustrated. He's getting after it right now. I like the way he's playing. As an opposing coach, he would concern me. You know, he's going to start converting on some of these, and they're going to have to maybe give him some space and make him a shooter. Gleason spins, gets it to Ryan Zimmer. He'll go baseline. Fakes, looks to go up, tried to get it over in the corner to Donaldson, but goes out of bounds off the Huskies. Coach Jamison pleading his case. Not going to get it. St. Clair with a four-point lead, 27 seconds on the clock. Brady Gleason will trigger from the baseline. Eli Lohr in the corner. Gleason looking for something else. Get this to Austin Schwager. Maybe content to do one again. Going to have to start to execute that just a little later than they did last time. Schwager goes past Stoner. Eli Lohr, mid-range jumper up. Bounces out. Goes into the hands of Zimmer and out of the hands of Zimmer. Jamison with it with 11 seconds. Bounces it. Looked like he took a step. Didn't yeah. take any dribbles and travels. Saints with nine seconds and an opportunity to take at least a six, if not a seven-point lead. Credit Sean Donaldson just a little bit. That wouldn't have been a charge. It would have been a block. But he stood there, and it kind of spooked McNeil just a little bit to taking that extra little uh, choppy step. And the Saints are going to get the ball uh, to end this quarter. Donaldson spin, an offensive foul against Sean Donaldson. will give the Huskies a shot at the last field goal attempt of the first half. With three seconds around the clock. St. Clair 24, Port Huron Northern 20. Bus Lepp will check in. That's the pause on the action. Got to be really Seth smart Blake. here if you're Austin Schweiger um, because they're probably going to want to chuck this to one of their better shooters, Stoner being one of them, and he's got two fouls.
DeLong lost the handle anyhow. Action-packed first half here at St. Clair High School. The home Saints, with a share of the Matt Gold title on the line, have a four-point lead. St. Clair 24, Port Huron Northern 20. We're back with second half action, but first, an interview after these messages with, with East China School Superintendent Suzanne Saibula. We'll, right at, we'll be back right after this on CTV. North Star Bank, your local community bank serving St. Clair, Sadlac, Huron, and Washington counties. When you need a local community bank for home loans, checking, savings, and other banking needs, North Star Bank is the community bank that you want to deal with. The bank that will take care of all your personal and business needs. North Star Bank has a new mobile application that you can download to make banking even easier. North Star Bank, guiding the way, member FDIC. Welcome back to CTV. Tom Brunner here at halftime of St. Clair hosting Port Huron Northern in a pivotal basketball game. But there may be nothing more pivotal to East China schools in our area than the March 10th vote coming up for the school bond. Uh, we're joined now by East China Superintendent Suzanne Saibula, who is here to answer a few questions, clear up a few things for yeah. us. And, and we'll start with this. And, and pardon me for looking straight down at my phone, but we'll, uh, we want to make sure we get it right. So in a couple weeks, we're going to be asking voters to uh, consider new plans to help for years to come. Um, why is the Board of Education uh, bringing this to voters? And I guess why now? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. I appreciate you taking the time. Um, the school board in the district administration has been trying for about five years now to find a bond proposal that meets the needs of our school district and can be supported by our community. And we've had a couple failed ones, 2016, 2019. Those weren't quite the right plans. So we've taken all the feedback from those bond proposals and the wishes of our community, and we have developed the plan that is on the ballot for March 10th, a bond proposal for now. What we're trying to address with these bond proposals is we have a severe declining enrollment. From 2001 until now, we went from 6,000 students to 3,979. Uh, we have some aging buildings that need some infrastructure upgrades and technology and some security issues. So you mentioned 2019 when the previous bond um, did uh get turned down by the voters. Mm -hmm. um, what has the school board done to address um, maybe the concerns of the people mm -hmm. who, um, who did vote no on the last one? Well, the, the overarching concern that we were able to get in the feedback and the surveys from the last bond that, um, that did not pass was that our communities agreed that we needed to upgrade our facilities and upgrade our technology and increase our safety measures, but they weren't ready to let go of the traditions of the St. Clair and the Marine City traditional schools, their hometown schools, because the, the plan on, uh, on the last bond proposal was to have one middle school and one high school and bring Marine City and St. Clair together, and that was just too much of a change for our communities, and they asked us to honor those traditions and allow them to keep the, the, the Marine City and St. Clair in their locations, and with this bond proposal, we were able to do that. What would you say some of the biggest benefits of this current proposal will be? Well, the, the exciting part is at both ends of the school district, we're going to keep Marine City High School and St. Clair High School in their locations, but we're going to create a 612 campus, meaning we're going to have 6th grade through 12th grade, both in Marine City and in St. Clair. Currently, Marine City already runs as a 612 campus. We'll make some additions to the St. Clair campus here um, in order for it to have 6th grade through 12th grade. And when you run that many grades together, there's a lot of exciting and neat things that you can do, sharing resources, sharing teachers, uh, tutoring, mentoring, helping. It, it creates a family atmosphere. A couple of the buzzwords you hear when you hear these type of things are closures yeah. and consolidation. Yeah. Um, are there any plans for such things as closures in this current plan? Yes. The, this plan um, mimics the, the um, bond proposal from May 7th in the elementary structure where we would close Gearing Elementary and those students would go over to what is now our St. Clair Middle School and that would become St. Clair Elementary School. So that is one more closure that will help us right size ourselves um, as we continue to experience our declining enrollment. A lot of kids, a lot of buildings, a lot of schools. Will there be something in the, in this plan for basically every every school in our district? Yes, and that's the other exciting piece. This this bond proposal touches every single one of our buildings. 
including our maintenance building, our performing arts center, our, um, our, our athletic field, our stadium, every building in our district, elementary, high school, um, and, and like I said, the Performing Arts Center, our stadium, our maintenance, everybody will receive upgrades. So it's, it, it really is a comprehensive proposal that will get this district in a good position for many years to come. Another one of the things that's always on everybody's mind, no matter if it's yeah. school bonds or anything, money. Yep. How much will this, uh, will this cost the taxpayers if this does go through? Yep. Currently, right now, East China School District has the lowest millage rate of any school district in our area. We're at 2.08 mills. This bond proposal asks for an increase of 1.5 mills that will, even with that increase of 1.5 mills, we will still be the lowest of any school district in our area. So what that equates to is um, we, we paid off a mill of debt, so we're at 2.08 right now mills. With this addition, it would be about a $6 increase on a $100,000 market value home. So we talk about the buildings. We're good with the buildings. Yep. Let's talk curriculum. What 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 are what are we uh, what's in there if we want to know what are students going to benefit maybe right in the classroom? Right. So this this is again one of the the exciting pieces of this because as teaching and learning looks entirely different than it, it did in years past. We do a lot of um, specific or targeted teaching through um, digital curriculum and it's delivered um, on, on devices for students. And instead of where we used to, all of us would get the same book and we'd all start at the same spot, we're now able to level um, curriculum and teaching right to where the student is at. And so we could have three students sitting next to each other, but they're all learning at their particular level on a, on a device because that curriculum can be delivered that way. We still have um, uh, libraries in each elementary classroom, but as you progress in the grades, that digital curriculum becomes so um, vital for our, for our students. And it's really neat because they get to see and experience things through this digital content that, we've never been, that we were never able to do um, during our growing up times. All right, so let's assume it goes through. The voters yep. say we want to do this thing. When does work begin, and then when will all of this be ready to go for the students? So the first thing that will happen um, once the bond proposal passes is the design phase. So even though we've cost estimated for each one of the buildings based on the square footage, the actual designs of the buildings will take place once the proposal passes, and each building will have a design team. So the design phase takes about nine months. And then once we have the design phase done, then we'll move into the construction. And that will take, I think, the first phase, I think, was a year and a half out. But the total project is a four-year project from start to finish. With all these things, probably the most important thing, very quickly, it's, it's to get in the information. Where can people go if they have more questions? Because obviously we're not going to fit it all in here in a yeah. halftime interview. Where can people go to find more information or maybe ask some questions? Right, and I hope that everyone does. I've done a lot of speaking around in our, our Marine City and St. Clair in East China, um, trying to reach as many people as I can. But if you do have questions, please contact East China School District. You can get to us through our website. You can call my office. We're, we're more than willing to come out and give presentations or talk or just deliver information. Um, on our website, there's a Bond 2020 button that you can click on, and it has a, a FAQ document. It has a tax calculator. It has the Bond uh, PowerPoint presentation. Anything you need is there, or else you can contact me. Great job. All right. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, we're thanks back for with, having we're me. We're back with second half action from St. Clair High School yeah. next on CTV. All right. Thank you. Go Saints. Well, they've got drink specials every day. Rooms upstairs if you want to stay. If you love music, hear it play at the good old Murphy Inn. At the good old Murphy Inn. Looking for a great spot to enjoy lunch or dinner with fantastic daily food and happy hour specials? Look no further than the Murphy Inn in St. Clair. This is Paul, owner of the Murphy Inn. Our chiming Irish pub features different food and drink specials every day of the week, plus live entertainment every Wednesday through Saturday. The inn even offers seven unique hotel rooms complete with modern amenities, perfect for overnight stays or a weekend getaway. There ain't no doubt we're going out to the good old Murphy Inn. To the good old Murphy Inn. The choice is yours at St. Clair Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Choose better service. Choose more for your trade. Because we really do care in St. Clair. Choose a better car buying experience at St. Clair Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, where you'll get all your rebates and the lowest price. They really do care in St. Clair. We are St. Clair County's highest volume dealer. St. Clair Chrysler Jeep and Dodge. Just minutes from everywhere. Welcome back to second half action on CTV. Tom Brenner and Brad Robbins back with you for some more basketball. Thank you for taking the time there to 
East China School Superintendent, Suzanne Saibula. Didn't miss much here to start for uh, those wondering why it picked up just a, a touch tardy. A missed uh, jumper from about 12 feet for the Saints and a rebound for the Huskies. And 45 minutes in, we got the same exact score as we had at the half. Uh, we didn't get much of a chance to kind of break down that, uh, that first half, but hard fought. Uh, I would say coming out of it, the Saints need to continue to play good defense, but James DeLong concerns me a little bit um, just in terms of his ability to create and cause problems. The Saints are going to have to match that in some way. Gleason drives baseline, was looking to get it to Zimmer. Tough pass, and Sean Donaldson tracks it down. Minute, Just over about a minute 15 into the third quarter, Donaldson will settle the Saints in with that four-point lead. We're just kind of tuning in just now. This is as big as it gets inside the Matt Gold so far. Schwager floater up, goes off glass, off rim, and no good. Both teams six and two in the Matt Gold. Whoever wins this guarantees themselves at least a share of that gold title. Good look there inside at number 33. That's Ryan McNeil, who's got himself four points on the night. Huskies cut the lead to two. Good pass there by DeLong, good finish by McNeil. Slipped through on the screen, just a great read. Donaldson up top. Guarded there by Jamison. Donaldson drives the lane. Good dish to Zimmer, and Jamison went way up top for the block. Tried to pass it, and the Huskies turn it over inside. Zimmer gets a second shot at it. This one's a lot easier, and it's good. <laughs> McNeil up top. Made the block. Saints stuck with it. I do think he got raked across both arms, but it, no call, and nice job by the Saints to hang in there. Drive up, no good. Ball off Swagger's hands inside to Jamison. It's like a foul going to be called inside against the Saints. I think they're going to get Donaldson. That's Donaldson's third, and that's a big development. Immediately out of the basketball game, Matt Busleff will check in for him. Donaldson with a good defense on DeLong the last few possessions. So not only is it a bummer not to have his scoring on the floor, but you got to worry a little bit about the, who's going to check DeLong, but a really nice play in transition there, and a good follow by Matt Buslip, who just checked for Sean Donaldson. Buslip with his first basket of the night. Last Huskies possession, they tried lobbing it inside to Jamison, wasn't there. Stoner gets it across. McNeil back to DeLong. DeLong drives on Schweiger, a lot of contact to be on the floor. He's looking for the off arm, but they're going to get Austin Schwager with one. That's also a big one. Second, so I, th I thought that was his third. I did too, and I'm not sure that that's correct. So he went to the bench earlier with two. There's I no question about it, unless, I will say, unless they decided to correct one after the right. fact. Whoa, Stoner, Stoner from Steph Curry land goes no good. <laughs> they're going to get 20 here. I believe for pulling him down. Cast, Probably a good break. I'm always interested. You know, Stoner's thrown a couple of those that he, you know, he's clearly got permission. Uh, so, uh, but man, that's deep. That That's an interesting use of a possession there, and the Saints have the ball back. Trapped. Buslep, trapped. Ball tipped there by DeLong. Buslep came back down with it. Looks like they're going to get Blue had their hand on the basketball, but he was out of bounds. Yeah, any time a player that's out of bounds, even if it's possessed by, you know, the Saints in that case, he reached in with his feet out and touched, it's out of bounds on that team. So ball goes to the Saints. Leeson triggering, Ryan Zimmer begging for the basketball. This time he does get it, but up top, handoff to Gleason. Gleason was looking for Schwager, Huskies fans, and Coach Jamison wanted to travel. Gleason three, can he keep it going? No. Glenarski was fighting for it. Good box there by Tyler Jamison. Six foot four freshman playing for his dad. Drive here, Schwager went up, DeLong, and Schwager comes away with it. Officials kind of letting that one go. Wouldn't have been shocked if they blew the whistle. Schwager with a little Euro step dish to Zimmer up off glass and good. What a nice feed, and Ryan Zimmer finishes. It's a fun basketball. It's amazing <laughs> to see those moves in the high school game. These guys just do it like it's nothing. Bodies everywhere as Jamison gets it inside to McNeil up off glass and good. Give him six on the night. McNeil. Another nice pass over the top. A couple of guys fell down in the paint, kind of disrupted the Saints' help side. Bus left, thought about the three, cut yeah. off there by Jamison. Ball goes out of bounds, will stay with the Saints. They get Jamison for a block there. 
trying to play catch up on Buslip. Just the first foul for the talented freshman. Zimmer triggers to Gleason. Up top to Schwager. He settles the Saints in. Lenarski, bus left, Schweiger, Zimmer, and Gleason. That's Coach Mike Boulard's five on the floor. Three and a half to go in the third quarter. St. Clair with a six-point lead. Bus left, up top, Lenarski, guarded by Stoner, gets it to the baseline. Gleason powers his way into the paint, goes up with the shot off glass and good. Nice. Bank was open for Brady Gleason, and nice, the nice possession there by the Saints. Took some time off, got a decent look. Gleason liked his matchup, and he went right at it. This may be the Saints' biggest lead of the night. It's up to 8, 32-24. Jumper up, no good. Ball everywhere. Zimmer comes away with him. Look at the big man push the basketball. Ryan Zimmer's a good athlete, plenty capable of dribbling the ball up the floor. Did it there. It's nice you have that pressure relief. If you can't get it to a guard, that your bigs can take care of it. Brady Gleason has the same ability. Ball slept, pressured way up by Jamison. The Huskies fans wanted to travel, and they do get it. Nice sarcastic cheer from the visiting fans. Apparently they're happy to see the call. Austin Meister will trigger for the Huskies, get it in to James DeLong. Big spot here, Saints with an eight point lead, 249 going this quarter. Got to hold serve if you're the Saints. Done a great job on this end. Stoner into the lane, dishes it to McNeil, up off glass and good. Good dish from Carter Stoner. Could be wrong, but doesn't McNeil have all their points in this quarter? Two lobs and now that, so. Eight on the night, I think he came in with two into the second half, or eight, maybe all eight actually. Stoner way up, ooh! Jerry Lenarski got him, it looked like with an elbow or a shoulder right in the jaw. No doubt about that foul. Yep, that one was right out in front of everybody and a little bit of frustration leaving the body there if you're Lenarski. The Huskies have made a concerted effort now to close gaps and put pressure on the Saints guards and it's been frustrating. You saw them kind of take up the personal space and force Brady Gleason into a travel and now they're taking away that personal space and has forced uh, Lenarski to foul offensively and what was an eight point lead is now six and the Huskies with the ball. Ryan Zimmer and Sean Donaldson to the bench or excuse me, Lenarski, not Donaldson, to the bench. Eli Lohr and Colin Zimmer into the basketball game for Mike Boulard. 32-26, heading towards two minutes to go in the third quarter. Senior Austin Schwager is looking for bus left, not there. Mike Boulard doesn't like what he sees. He'll take a timeout, settle his Saints in with a six-point lead. Saints have lost a little bit of rhythm offensively. Um, Probably a good timeout by Coach Boulard. Get your guys and uh, calm them down and, and maybe offer up something just a little different offensive wrinkle um, or just put an area of focus back down for your guys. I don't know if they want to look to get the ball inside a little bit more, uh, but the offense has looked stagnant the last few times down the floor. Got to find a recipe here. I imagine if they're talking any defense whatsoever, which knowing Coach Boulard, I'm sure they're talking some defense. Probably not a lot to say except for uh, 33. Tyler, Mc, or excuse me, Ryan McNeil, who uh, has had it going. But quite frankly, it's not that he's necessarily had it going. It's that he's had phenomenal position, and the penetration's killing him as they're easily dishing it inside for easy layup. Yeah, uh, DeLong and Stoner have been able to get some dribble penetration, and then that's allowed for a couple of good lob passes and a nice bounce pass um, into McNeil. And at 6'7", if you're catching the ball at two feet, you're not going to miss. So uh, Saints going to have to do a little bit better job there and got to get back to being a little more aggressive offensively. But with Sean Donaldson on the bench, I think you're starting to see he was able to relieve some of that pressure and provide another dribble drive threat. And now they're going to count on the sophomore Lore and the uh, junior Buslip to do that with him. Gleason gets it inbounds to his buddy Austin Schwager. Under two minutes to go, 32-26, St. Clair with a lead. Gleason on the wing, guarded by Jamison. Gets it up to Lore. He's pressured heavily by Meister. Gets it back to Gleason. Inside, Colin Zimmer turns, gets it to Austin Schwager, takes a couple dribbles, goes back into the paint. Corner three from Brady Gleason, up and good. Brady Gleason has got it going from distance tonight. Give him 11 points. He comes in averaging just three. The senior bringing the leadership big time. Yeah, Brady Gleason's just done a nice job. I think uh, on the year total, Brady Gleason's got four made threes, and tonight he's got three. He's going to double his output. McNeil guarded by Colin Zimmer. Good defense and a great rebound. 
awesome job by Collins. And really the defensive effort in the post when they're in good position has been outstanding. It's when he gets behind that's a problem. Schwager goes into the paint, gets kicks it corner. Can he keep it going? Rattles around, can't. Colin Zimmer has the basketball, gets it over to Buslip, drives, picks up his dribble, back up top. Schwager, Lore, three, up, no good. Ball rattles around and into the hands of Stoner. That sequence would have brought the pit <laughs> to the next level. It was a good possession nonetheless. Just got to go down and get a stop. They're not all going to go in. That was a nice job by the Saints. Along pulls up from three, not there. McNeil tries to get the rebound, but it's Austin Schwager who comes away with it. 25 seconds to go in the third quarter. Saints will likely play for the last shot. Austin Schwager with it, 20 seconds. Saints with a nine-point lead. Schwager to the paint. Goes up, blocked there by Ryan McNeil. No harm and absolutely no foul. 17 seconds on the clock, and the Saints will keep the basketball. That's actually a really nice decision by Austin Schwager. Even though you're kind of running in that one-shot area, the Saints haven't really converted a one shot. So uh, he turned the corner and he had a lane and you put McNeil and Jamison in a spot where they might foul you. I don't mind that at all. And this time it worked out that the Saints can still get their one shot opportunity if they want it. Lore with 11 seconds on the clock. Bus left, looks up at the clock, gets it over to Gleason. Six on the clock, make it five, four, three. Colin Zimmer with it, two. Shot goes up, tipped away. Lord tried to get one off. That's no good as well. The good news is the Huskies didn't get the basketball back. St. Clair 35, Huskies 26. That, that was uh, an excellent third quarter for the Saints. And it's strange because, you know, I'm sitting on pins and needles about how the Huskies are going to get back into this, and the Saints just continue to do a good job. I was talking to um, Sandy Rutledge at, at half just a little bit while you were doing your interview, and um, he, he mentioned that last time the Saints went in with the lead and ended up losing this game by, like, 18 points. And I said... Well, how did that happen? And he said, DeLong went off and hit like five threes in a row to start the second half. So you know it's in there. It's always kind of just simmering below the surface, but the Saints have done an outstanding job. And right now, I think there's a little bit of frustration on the part of DeLong and Stoner that they've had to force some really long looks, or just like last time, DeLong took that off the dribble with 29 seconds to go. That doesn't appear to be a real plan there. So the Saints need to just do that and hold serve here for eight minutes for a share of a league title. Nine-point lead and an electric fourth quarter on its way after these messages on CTV. St. Clair's Ace Hardware in the Riverview Plaza is now open seven days a week for your shopping needs. Everything you need from auto supplies, wiring, paint, craftsman tools. St. Clair's Ace Hardware has picnic items, a complete gift department with candles and more. Don't miss the specials on Valspar Paint. St. Clair's Ace Hardware in the Riverview Plaza. Welcome back to High School Basketball on CTV. Tom Brenner, Brad Robbins, along with For the Ride with you once again. St. Clair 35, Port Huron Northern 26. Austin Schweiger goes for the steal. He comes away with it. Looks back, goes up off glass, blocked away there by James DeLong. Here comes Port Huron Northern. Can they get some energy going? Jamison corner, three up and good. Big turn oh, of two. events there. Two, it looks like. Get him on the line there. Either way, big shift there to start the fourth quarter. St. Clair 35, Port Huron Northern 28. Now Gleason into the lane, loses the basketball, and back comes Meister. Meister pushing it. Donaldson gets there. Jamison with it off glass and good. It's exactly what the Huskies wanted there. They pushed the tempo, they got the turnovers, and really it couldn't have it couldn't have started any better for the Saints with the with the steal by Schweiger. DeLong, I mean, with a just, just a really nice athletic play to recover and, and get the block. So Saints wisely call a timeout here 40 seconds in, and that's why you save them to the fourth. Going to have to regroup. Does look like that will be a two-point shot there. Kind of saw the, rough, the official go over to the scorekeeper. I mean, this isn't the NBA, so we're not changing stuff, so to speak. <laughs> but I think, I think that they were probably going over there just to make sure they were on board. It looked to me like they added up the two to begin with, so I don't think anything will change. Yeah, the, the official scorekeeper just wants to make sure that they didn't miss the hand raise there because, honestly, I'm sure the northern bench asked that they re, sure. you know, look into it. As uh, they should. It's, it, it was as far away from all those people as possible. you got to check with the official. St. Clair lead down to this five now, 7.20 on the clock. Austin Schwager brings it over the timeline. Meister in pursuit. Lenarski mid-range jumper up, rolls out. 
Back quick. comes James DeLong. Quick shot off that press. DeLong crosses over to his left hand into the paint. Nifty right hand from the left side off glass and good. Just a one possession game now. Had the nine point lead cut to three in under a minute. So we're in for a dog fight. Schwager crosses over to his left hand. Gets it over to Donaldson. We've seen Sean do this multiple times. He kind of likes to settle the Saints into their offense and take a breath. Probably a good idea. Gleason picks up his dribble. Stolen away here by Jamison. He goes behind his back. Crosses the timeline. He'll force the issue. Corner. Meister drives on Donaldson. Back up top. DeLong will trigger from three. Up and good. He wanted it, and he tied the game. James DeLong, we mentioned where it was just kind of boiling beneath the surface, and it's 212 degrees now. Mentioned the Saints have a strong showing from their student section, also known as the pit. Going to need the pit more than ever here to tie ball game, 35-35. The Husky fans certainly making some noise. 6.17 on the clock. Bus left will check in. Jerry Lenarski goes to the bench. Might be just a settle down move there. The Saints broke the press, and Lenarski was pretty quick on the, on the jumper. Coach Boulard might want to kind of resend that message. Austin Meister is certainly causing some issues. Pressure in the basketball. Gleason on the wing, takes an Austin Schwager screen. Meister all up in his grill. Schwager spins to the baseline, dishes it into Zimmer, up off glass, no good. Just a little too deep and a bad angle. Kind of forced it vertical. DeLong will take a Jamison screen, back over. Jamison drives the lane on Gleason. Three on its way from Meister, not there. Gleason has the basketball. Over to Donaldson. Saints with numbers if they want them, but Donaldson smartly pulls it back. Nice mature not your play normal there. numbers, so to speak. Tension high now. Tension's high in the building. Zimmer inside. Goes up. No whistle. Shot no good. That's tough with the contact. Kind of like the official swallowing their whistle there a little bit. Heading towards five minutes to go in a 35-35 game. And yeah, that one probably didn't meet the threshold for a charge, so you just let it play on. Bodies everywhere. Ryan Zimmer comes away with it. I imagine these officials probably subscribe to the Times Herald. They know what's on the line here. <laughs> I'm sure they're well aware that this is a league. That's what you want as an official, right? You want to have games at the end of the year with some implications. It's it's fun. Brandon Folsom doing a great job writing. Got a little pre quick preview in there. Donaldson with a pin inside. Can't finish. Zimmer comes away with it. Huskies force it away again. Seth Klink gets it across. DeLong tipped away by Donaldson. Donaldson's got to be smart. I believe that's four. It's just kind of got his hand on the cookie jar. He did. Uh, yeah, it's, he's got to realize that once you get the first tap away, you got to preserve the possession. There was nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't mean you got to finish the job and get a steal every time. And he's going to have to be uh, very smart here. He's going to have to come back in pretty quick, I would imagine. The, the offense just has run better with him on the floor. Along with the basketball, tries to get it inside. He does. Jamison blocked by Zimmer, goes out of bounds. Big time play, big time emotion from the senior. Nice rotation by the Saints, turned him away. Can't rest on that one though, gotta do it again. Big possession in the baseline out of bounds. Team score on these. Six foot four freshman, Tyler Jamison, inbounds the basketball inside. Another good look for Ryan McNeil and he finishes it. Give him 10 points on the night. As good as the rotation was on the previous possession, that one cost the Saints. I don't know exactly what minute mark it was at, but the Huskies have the lead, 37-35. It's been a long time since they had the lead. Ryan Zimmer on the wing, met by McNeil, gets it up top to Gleason, heading towards four minutes to play, and the Saints with a two-point deficit to tap into. Cut there, not there for Lenarski. Bus slap up top. Back to Lenarski. He's guarded by Carter Stoner. Takes a couple dribbles, clears out Lore. Looking for the cutting. Gleason not there. Lore on the wing. Inside to Lenarski. Loses the basketball. Gathers it. Tries to throw it off. Stoner out of bounds. Not the way it typically would happen, but it does. Goes all the way out on the sideline there. Saints just going to have to find some offensive poise here and get a good look. Credit Northern's defense. They're doing a nice job making the Saints uncomfortable. Have done that throughout this quarter. Jamison on Gleason. Ryan Zimmer will go set a screen on the freshman. He rolls to the corner. 
Takes the basketball on the wing, drives baseline, goes up with the left hand, and good. Might be able to do that a little bit more with Zimmer. Get him out on the perimeter. I think he's more athletic than McNeil, and McNeil's going to bother him at the, pay, uh, at the point of attack on the other end. Make sure he gets some chances out on the perimeter. Help side's going to be tough against 6-6. Six, six. Tied at 37. I've got Ryan Zimmer down for 13 points on the night. Jamison looking at Simon Neal. Zimmer with a steal and a big time one. Gleason with the basketball. See if he forces the issue. Backs down. Jamison spins. Good defense there. Zimmer. Bust left in the corner. Looking inside at Lohr. Doesn't give it to him. Zimmer swings it around. Gleason is hot, but not that hot. <laughs> Thought better of it with a tie game and 250 left. League title on the line. Oh, they make it. Looks real good. Lohr, bust left. 2.45 to go in the fourth quarter. Gleason to Lohr, guarded by Stoner. Couple dribbles, Lenarski three, on its way up. Rattles around and no good. McNeil with the rebound. Not an awful look there. Pretty good patience. I will say this, I, I'm, I'm betting just based on the output that Brady Gleason has had throughout the year, part of their scouting report going in was let's make him hit some threes, right? Well, once he did, I think now you're seeing they're putting a little more length on Brady, and he's, you know, if he wants to shoot it, he's got to do it from two feet outside the arc. So that's an adjustment that he, he's had to make. But that whole sequence, not too bad. Austin Schweiger sitting down. Sean Donaldson sitting down. You, you might get him checked here pretty quick, and those are the guys you want on the floor in this type of situation. Brian Jamison, the head coach of the Port Huron Northern Huskies, a veteran in the coaching ranks. Got to be one of the longest tenured in the Blue Water area, regardless oh, of sport, regardless of He's got to uh, be gender. working on 20 plus. He's the veteran young guy. He started so young <laughs> that he doesn't look old, but he's been doing it long enough that his kid is now on the varsity team. I can remember when he coached his brother um, back when I was in middle school. So that's how long it's been. And he's done a really good job. He's won a lot over his career, and he's had various levels of talent, and he always seems to get the most out of it. And here we see that again. They started on an 11-0 run. His, his kids always know how to play, and he can get it out of them there on down the stretch. Coach Jamison's team grabbed that defensive rebound, immediately called timeout. Tied at 37. 234 is what's on the clock. This is some big-time basketball on CTV. Coach Jamison staple. Run a double screen for uh, Stoner and get a backside back door. They call it Albion or Laker. I wouldn't be surprised if you see it here. Long brings the basketball up. He's got Stoner. Here comes your screen. McNeil rolled to the bucket, not there. DeLong drives, goes up with the floater, a high floater not there. Donaldson couldn't quite grab it with one hand. Basketball on the deck. Zimmer there. Gleason tried to get in the timeout, but before he could, a held ball will be called. Possession arrow favors the Saints. Smart play there by Gleason, just trying to call the timeout. If they give it to you, why not? You earn the possession and you don't have to forfeit the arrow. Nonetheless, good loose ball play and good defense against DeLong there with that floater. That's a tough shot. 2-10 is left. We're tied at 37. It's basically 0-0. Both teams 6-2 in the Matt goal. Winner of this guarantees themselves at least a share of a league title. Coach Mike Boulard in his first year coaching the boys, coming over from the girls. Got the boys in position to win a championship, which, uh, as we all know, is the point of this whole deal. Outside of what you learn for your life, trying to win some stuff. Anytime there's a trophy, you want it, right? Absolutely. Schweiger spins on Stoner, gets it in the corner. Gleason takes a couple dribbles, guarded by Jamison. Schweiger looking inside. McNeil closed quick and tipped it away as they were looking for Zimmer. James DeLong brings the basketball over. Possessions are at a premium now. Got to do a good job helping. Quick burst from DeLong out there. Somehow gets his own miss. And what a steal by Jared Lenarski. Ends up in the hands of Schwager. Schwager wasn't sure if he had his dribble left, so he wisely called Donaldson back there. You see that. Even if he did have it, you see that called a lot. So knowing the human element there, that's a veteran play by Schwager. Saints with an all-senior lineup. Their starters are in there. Somehow that Lenarski floater doesn't go down. And back comes James DeLong and the Huskies. I think Lenarski was surprised that the gate kind of opened up as much as it did. He was anticipating more resistance, and it never came. Exactly one he minute traveled. to go, and a travel gives the Saints the basketball. He did. He used both. There, there can't be an argument there. As good an athlete as DeLong was, I don't think he anticipated that jump by Lenarski, and he took an extra step for it. And Mike Boulard's going to want to talk about it with just 60 seconds left in the tie ball game. It's amazing how these things play themselves out over the course of a whole season. Play all those games, and now we got a minute 
and the game's tied at 37. That's what we should do. We should just reset games, maybe like 37, 37, 40, 40, to show off beginning of February and just start playing games for like a minute. We could save everybody a lot of time, but I can guarantee you this. Um, Coach Boulard and Coach Jamison have both done that uh, throughout the course of the year. So at some point this year, <laughs> although you're probably a little more optimistic, I don't know you're setting the clock at 37-37, <laughs> but they have put up a 58-58 and told guys what they want. So they've been here before, they've practiced this before, and it's time to go out and put it in place. Gleason, Schweiger, Donaldson, Lenarski, and Zimmer on the floor. It's Mike Boulard's starting lineup. All seniors. That's what you want. You put the veteran guys on the floor, you leave it in their hands, let them go out and get it. Lenarski up top on the wing, guarded by DeLong. Donaldson with it, he's met by Klink. Jamison goes after Gleason, sticks that off arm out to protect the basketball. Needs a little help, and somehow Jamison came up with a steal, and Donaldson commits a foul. That's going to be his fifth. Not a one-and-one one yet, though, but he's going to have to watch this one finish. And right there, it just got a little uncomfortable with Brady Gleason on the handoff exchange. They kind of forced it, and Tyler Jamison did a nice job of providing the pressure now the Saints are going to have to answer with a stop. Huskies get it in. James DeLong guarded by Lenarski. 35 seconds on the clock. Be interesting to see how this possession plays itself out. They might wear it out. Jamison. Frost hesitation. Brings it back. and Looks like the Huskies will see what they can do. 20 seconds on the clock. We're tied at 37. Austin Meister with it. Bust left. Forcing the issue. And it goes out of bounds of the Saints. Might be a big break there, but they're... Coach Jamison is begging for them to talk to another official, but I, I'm not sure how anybody would be any better spot than him. Nice seconds. Jamison and the Huskies are looking over here to the official closest to us. They looked over for him for help, and, and he kind of looked like, I got nothing better than what he saw. Yeah, I, I don't know that you're going to... The official was standing right with... I, I couldn't see it from here either, either so I, I don't... It, I can tell you that it looked suspect to me because I don't know why you would just throw the ball out of bounds if you're uh, DeLong, but that doesn't mean I've never seen that done in a basketball game right. before. So Saints with what I will call a break or maybe just the result of aggressive defense in the clutch. 19 seconds left. Play coach for me. What are we doing here? Great question. <laughs> I, I, I don't know I how like many timeouts the, I, he's got. I, I, I feel like I always like the basketball in the hands of Brady Gleason at some point from that high post type area. I'm um, looking for his cutters, and of course, if you can get yourself a, a fairly easy look for Ryan Zimmer, that's what you really like to see. The good news is, is that this is the problem that uh, that Mike Boulard has, which is a great problem. Yeah. He's got all kinds of ball handlers and guys who can technically score the basketball. This is the guy I would have bringing it. If it goes through Brady Gleason's hand with a chance to pass, that'd be fine. Correct. The Huskies have lots of fouls to give, so they might do it. And here you see it. Nothing hurt there. They can do that again, so it stops the clock and disrupts rhythm. If you're really savvy, as you anticipate that, you may try to ch chuck a shot. It takes a risk, but sometimes you get the call. Gleason will trigger, 13 seconds on the clock. We're tied at 37. Schweiger can attack again. They might let him do it. He might get fouled as he comes into the paint. Zimmer sets the screen, five seconds on the clock. Crosses over, three on the clock, two. Corner, bust left, three on its way. Ooh. Up and rattles out. It's a the good, good luck. news is, is that miss means we're going to overtime. If that thing would have went down, this place would have erupted and the Saints would have guaranteed themselves at least a share of the Matt Gold, but instead, we're rewarded with bonus basketball. Yeah, free ball tonight, that's all right. We're back with overtime. If you stop watching now, I don't know what's wrong with you. We're back with overtime next on CTV. Today I'm gonna tell you about sportsmanship, cause it's important. Treat your opponents the way you would wanna be treated. <laughs> My mom says that. Listen to the referees. It's their job! Be nice to their team and our team! Cheer them on! Always play fair. It's the right thing to do. It's sportsmanship. It's not that hard. Welcome back to High School Basketball on CTV. A rare overtime situation with a Mac Gold share on the line at St. Clair High School. Tom Brenner, Brad Robbins with you. 
What a basketball game. It's been great. Credit the Huskies, right? Because the Saints were winning that uh, uh, by 9, 35, 26, or excuse me, yeah, 35, 26 going into the fourth. And the Huskies go on an 11-0 run, and then the Saints match it with a bucket. Um, but here we are. You got four minutes for a league title. We talked about it coming down to moments. We said 60 seconds. Well, let's play uh, four more minutes here and see what shakes out. Of course, if you're just, there's that backdoor play I mentioned before. Good looking uh, pass. Every James time. Finishes. If you didn't catch that in the fourth, I talked about that exact <laughs> set. Um, but that being said, something to monitor. And if you're just catching up now, Sean Donaldson went out with his fifth foul with 19 seconds to play in this basketball game and can't come back in. Uh, so you see Matt Buslip, who had a great look at three in regulation, and it just rattled out on him. Great, great job by Bus left to contain the basketball. And Arski hit the deck. No foul. Somehow keeps it. Zimmer skips it across the Schwager. Kind of settles the Saints down. Spins baseline. Goes up off glass. No good. Gets his own miss. Goes back up with it. This time draws the foul on Stoner. And he'll shoot two. Seen yeah. a decent amount of fouls, but not a whole <laughs> lot of free throws tonight. No, and, and we're still at the... Uh, I, the second half, it seemed like it's been a very physical game, but we were at 5-5 in fouls. So um, in the second half especially, a lot of contact, but a lot of play on. You see Austin Schreiger with a good drive there. I thought he got fouled in the original take, uh, but it took the second possession to get it. Schweiger's first one is up and good. Just three points on the night for Austin Schweiger. But it's these a ones are huge. Guy. Comes in averaging 10 points a game for Mike Boulard. Gets a lot of them here at the foul stripe at the end of basketball games. Second one up and no good. Brought down by Jamison. The Husky lead is one. It's 39-38. Four year on Northern on top. Lenarski checks the long. He did a nice job of that right at the end of regulation and forced the turnover. Ryan McNeil gets it over to DeLong. Stoner up top. He likes to shoot that three. And he'll even trigger from there. That's why you see Schwager up on him. DeLong stolen away by Schwager. Got to watch already. his back. Here comes Jamison. Jamison from behind. Looks like they're going to get him for a foul. Husky that, fans and bench can't seven. believe it. It'll be a one and one Schweiger at the line for a couple biggies. Just Tyler Jamison's second good hustle play by him. At any rate, you stop the layup, make Schweiger earn it with one and one here. First one on its way up and no good. So back come the Huskies. Stays 39-38, 2.45 on the overtime clock. Jamison guarded by Gleason, gets it over to Stoner. He's guarded by Schweiger, heading towards two and a half. Ball goes out of bounds off the hands of Seth Plink, and the Saints keep it. Saints have had plenty of opportunities with this one-point deficit. Going to have to find a way to get a good look at the rim here. Schwager brings it across the timeline. He's joined by Lenarski, Zimmer, Buslep, and Gleason. Gleason takes the basketball. He looks for a Ryan Zimmer screen, gets it. McNeil switches onto him, hands the basketball off to Austin Schwager. The Saints take a breath, get their orders from Mike Boulard, and move on. Schwager dribbles, drives the lane, skips it across. Gleason from three. We've heard it a lot. This one's up and no good. Ends up in the hands of Jamison. It's a good luck there for the Saints, so nothing wrong with that possession. Schweiger's going to get one out in the open floor. Just the Saints' sixth, though, so not shooting quite yet. I think that's just his third, which we were under the impression that he had two early, and something got corrected, so no trouble there. And over time with three, he got plenty to give. Under two minutes to play here in overtime. Port here on Northern 39, St. Clair 38. DeLong brings it across, picks up his dribble, gets it to Clink, but it goes out of bounds. Looks like they'll say it's off the Saints. Both teams doing a nice job right now of making the court feel small for their opponent. This doesn't feel like there's any room to breathe. Illustrated there by a near five second call, sideline out of bounds, you just don't see that very often. So if you're not able to backcourt the basketball from the sideline with plenty of room, it just goes to show you kind of the anxiety of the offensive players right now. Pack Jim here at St. Clair High School. Blackout theme for the pit, out in full force, pretty much filling up that whole section over there, which is a great sign. Hopefully they'll keep bringing it all the way through to MAC tournament and the district action. Mentioned it plenty, obviously lots on the line here for the Saints. 
and the Huskies. Saints win, they guarantee a share, but have to beat Frazier to get it all by themselves. That is important. Probably, I don't know if we even touched on that. And then if the Huskies win, they're going to play last place Sterling Heights, so you got to imagine they'd be in the driver's seat there. The crazy thing is we're actually really only in this situation because Tower knocked off Port here on Northern on Tuesday. DeLong drives the lane into a crowd, goes up no good. Zimmer with a strong, tough, and huge rebound. And that looked like it was going down. James DeLong just hasn't really been able to quite find it um, on a consistent level. Big stop there for the Saints. But then I say that nobody has. It's 39-38, and we're in overtime. Gleason bumped inside. Jamison kicking himself over that foul. And, and that one is just the fact of out, being out of position and tailing your guy. Savvy waiting by Brady Gleason and uh, was able to get Tyler Jamison, the freshman, on his back. And really nice job. The Saints going to have to make some foul shots. Senior leader Brady Gleason to the free throw line. One and one situation. Shot is on its way up and Rad rolls in. I don't even think Brady thought that, that was going in. He was he, back he to play defense. Stuck it on the butt of the rim there and it trickles down. And he ties the game. Just needed to go that way sometimes. See the ball go in. That's his 12th point, my scorebook. <laughs> Stays at 12. And oh, looked like the basketball almost went out of bounds off of Ryan McNeil. But I think they're going to call a foul first. And it's going to be a one and one opportunity for McNeil here at what, the 120 mark. This goes to show you, basketball is a funny game of bounces. Brady Gleason absolutely thought he missed the front end, and he probably felt like the second one was uh, dead on, and it rattled out on him. So we'll see if McNeil can match it, make a play to take the lead here. Gleason's averaging three a game. i got to imagine his 12 points is a season high. McNeil can't get it. Zimmer couldn't bring down the rebound. Bus left, brings it in. It's 39-39, a minute 10 on the clock here at St. Clair High School. Schwager brings it across. Big time possession here for the Saints. DeLong up on Schwager, gets it over to Lenarski, and Mike Boulard will take a timeout with 102 left in overtime to talk things over, settle his guys in, and give them a little rest at the same time. Yeah, I wasn't sure, still not. It's tough to, I don't keep track of them up here to know what the timeout situation is, so we're at the... Uh, the mercy of what happens on the floor, but seemed like a good time to get one. Um, you got some, you got a lot of scenarios that you got to go over here because a minute two is an eternity in a 39 to 39 game uh, with both teams in a one and one bonus. We've been talking about the Matt Gold all the way to this point. I, I don't want to say that we that we fought it off, so to speak, but we fought off the announcer jinx, by the way. We've done a few games, and I believe there's a point in time where if we if we maybe go back and maybe pull the film, as they may say, that we said to circle this date on your calendar. And we even said that it would be 39-39 in overtime. <laughs> no, we didn't go that far. But this, this game has been on the calendar. Credit the Saints for holding their own after losing two conference games to get to this point. The Huskies probably looked ahead a little bit, got themselves two conference losses, and that's why we're here with a share on the line. Yeah, that was something that the uh, Matt Disrath, an assistant from Northern, told me. He said, might have got caught looking ahead, let Tower bite us, and now we're here, and, and the Saints are a formidable uh, opponent. So it goes to show you with a 39-39 game here. Good look inside from Gleason. The bus left, doesn't pull it up, gets it back up top. Gleason settles it in, picks it up in the corner over to Schwager. He settles in the Saints, guarded by Stoner, who will pressure. For a high screen and roll, get... Schweiger going somewhere into the paint here. 25 seconds on the clock. Stoner still bringing the press pressure. Schweiger behind the back, keeping it alive. Stoner's Stoner causing some problems. Lenarski in the corner. Heading towards 15 seconds to go. We're tied at 39. The Saints will play for what will probably be the last shot. And Mike Boulard calls timeout with 13 seconds on the clock in overtime. All right, so credit the Saints. Um, and I'm talking about the players because I guarantee you the first conversation was get me to under 15 seconds and I want a timeout and they were able to do that, right? So it might have been like layups only but, but uh, didn't have an opportunity and now is where the chess match begins, right? You, you're trying to predict what it is that Coach Jamison's going to want to come out in and what they're going to want to do. Last time they ran a big at the ball and made it really difficult but it also meant that Matt Buslip was kind of wide open in the corner. I wouldn't mind that look again. Um, probably got to get the ball into Austin Schweiger's hands and um, 
If they want to set a screen, maybe slip it this time because last time the big ran at him. Last time these two teams played was over on January 21st, and the Huskies got the best of the Saints, 53-51. We're in overtime at 39-39 and 13 seconds on the clock. The senior, Brady Gleason, triggers to Austin Schweiger. He'll be guarded by James DeLong, also a senior. We're under 10 seconds. Clock going to hit six. We're at five. Takes a Ryan Zimmer screen. Four. Schweiger pulls up. No good. Ball goes into the hands of Buslep. Up again. He got it. it. He got it. It's a buzzer beating. What's up? Shot on the Matt spot. Buslep. Matt Buslep missed the shot at the end of regulation, but gets his redemption at the end of overtime. And the Saints win 41-39. They are guaranteed at least a share of the Matt Gold. The pit storms the court. The fans are going crazy. What an ending. I did not think for one second that there was enough time for him to pick the basketball up. As soon as Austin Schweiger's shot came up short uh, and hit the foam, I thought that was another overtime. I want to say I have to credit somebody that, that probably didn't get picked up on this broadcast. Matt Buslip missed the three-pointer in the first at the end of regulation, and the first person to greet him on the floor as he was upset was Todd Culling. Went out there, let him know it was fine, told him he was going to have to play plenty more, encouraged him, and then he was the next guy to greet him as he made the little floater to send the Saints uh, home tonight as as Matt Gold at least shared champion. So this is a nice job. That's what that's what team sports are all about, and I don't know that anybody's ever going to say a whole lot about Coach Culling, but that was something I noticed from here, and that's why you got a lot of good adults on your staff. That big time moment here for the St. Clair boys basketball program moves them to seven and two in the Matt Gold. They are now sitting atop alone in the Matt Gold. They move to ten and four overall. The Huskies will drop to six and three in the gold. That's the big one there. They're eight and six overall. Wow. That's as good as it gets. The Saints do have more business to attend to if they want to hang up a, a banner that just has them. Just them at the top, which is going to be Mike Boulard's message all day long. The Saints are not in action uh, for another week. At Frazier, 2-13, it's a Thursday. They're on the road. That's a big-time matchup. And that's a matchup that, honestly, the Saints match up pretty well in. They handled the Ramblers here when we did that. I was surprised they were able to do that. Um, but, yeah, as you mentioned, you can't go rest on your laurels now. You haven't finished it. If you want to own it by yourself, you've earned the position to do that. Now you got to go on the road against a good basketball team and get it done. Port here on Northern it still has to take on Sterling Heights. That's, uh, I don't want to say meaningless, but fairly meaningless at this point. But things are awfully weird in the Matt Gold. But that right there made things a whole lot clearer. Mike Bullard and his team, they win the game. They control their own destiny. Great, 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 great game. We mentioned him plenty in the broadcast. But Brady Gleason at times... I don't want to say he kept the team, the team in the ball game, but he was knocking down threes, which is not normally what he even likes to do on the basketball court. No, I think recently he's kind of picked that up a little bit. He hit three tonight. Uh, as I mentioned, he had four on the season coming in. Probably wasn't really a high mark on the scouting report. And anytime you go through an entire basketball game and have 41 points and one guy who was averaging three, I believe, uh, comes out and gets you double digits and probably takes up 25% of your scoring for the night, uh, that's a big boost. So uh, kudos to him and uh, really all around just kind of picking up slack where it needed to be. And defensively, again, the Saints find a way to, to gut it out. We'll go through my scorecard, and hopefully I got it right. I believe I do. I got Ryan Zimmer leading the Saints with 13 points. Gleason comes in second with 12. Sean Donaldson with 9. You mentioned basketball is a funny game. It's also a game where you absolutely have to keep playing. My scorecard could be wrong, but I've got Matt Bus left down with 4 points. But the last two are the only points that have all <laughs> these points that matter. And he's in there because Sean Donaldson fouled out, and I'm sure that was heartbreaking for Sean Donaldson. But moving into tournament play, you know, you know that you can have a senior go out with foul trouble, and people will step in and you know maybe win the game for you. The St. Clair boys basketball team is kind of finding their rhythm. No doubt, no about, doubt it. about it, as you like to say. CTV is going to be along for the ride. We thank you, as always, for watching on WatchCTV.org, over on YouTube, over on the CTV app. Keep watching. They're playing some good basketball, and tonight was about as exciting as it gets and probably one of the most memorable moments you'll see in this gym in a long, long time. For Brad Robbins and Elizabeth, I'm Tom Brenner. We'll see you next time. This CTV sports presentation has been brought to you by St. Clair Chevy. 
Buick GMC, we care. By Murphy Inn, restaurant and hotel in St. Clair. By North Star Bank, North Star guiding the way. By Neiman's Family Market. By St. Clair Home Goods and Ace Hardware. And by CTV Community TV in Marine City in St. Clair.